today is my mom's birthday. She's 82, so we came to buy our Trump cookies. You want to talk? Which we do whenever Trump is up for election, which he's my sweetheart. I love him so much. Yes. Each shipping order, each cookie, they're all counted individually. So right now, Trump is leading. He also did win in 2020 the cookie poll here. But I'd like to express to everybody, this is just like a fun, non-stressful tally that we're taking. It's definitely not scientific. It's just a delicious way, I say, to take the pressure off what is going on with the election, all the ads, all the campaign stuff, just a cookie. and these cookies are being shipped all over the United States right now. So much so that they're on back order, so we're about three to four weeks back, only guaranteeing as of today that they will get by election day. We're also seeing people drive in from a couple hours away because they're gonna get them faster than being shipped. So that's bringing a whole new energy to our store, like new customers, new faces, and potentially these customers could buy around the holidays. So it's a win-win for small business and the customers coming into our town. You're red. I think any small business can potentially gain from the election if you do it the right way, offer both candidates, make it a fun experience, not make fun of people, not pin a candidate against each other. I think that in order to do something like this when you're dipping into politics, you really have to treat each candidate fairly and offer both. So there is a little bit of a dark side, you are correct, um, and it's mainly on social media. It's not in our store. The people that are coming into our store, whether they're buying red or blue cookies, they're friendly, they joke, they laugh, they buy other things. It's generally just things like false reviews of, of customers that don't even come to us and people sending nasty emails and leaving nasty messages on our social media. But here in our store, it has been nothing but positive. I, I can wholeheartedly say that both sides come in and they just want to support, support small business. They genuinely want to come into a small town, buy from a small business, and see that we're successful because truly small business is the backbone of America.